Good evening and welcome to the THR Touring Car Leagues. This is Silverstone National uh, and this is Class A. If you joined us last night, then you'd have spotted we were in Class B. So this is where the big boys come to play. The quick, the top 16 or so drivers, whoever can make it out on the circuit tonight. Uh, good evening to everyone who is watching the stream. Should be about if you if, if you haven't watched yesterday's, I do advise you, you do go and watch yesterday's stream. It was a fantastic night's racing, absolute chaos at times. But that's touring cars. We're starting off tonight with the register Ginetta Juniors. And quickly find some standings for yourselves whilst the five minute qualifying goes on. There's a five-minute qualifying, 15-minute race as we're watching big boy Brazer here. And we'll also go on board with one of the drivers for a lap. So on board with big boy Brazer. We'll go, go for another lap with him in a minute and we'll also try and go through all the drivers. So the championship standings, Aiden Hills leans the registered Gidnetta Juniors. On 57 points. Uh, Matahimovic on 52. Joint with Jack 70. DBIG GS 95. D Biggs is on 50. AMH Racing on 36. Joint with Buy My Cars. Uh, Keegs W. Again, I will apologise if I pronounce any of these wrong. Um, do let me know um, in the chat. Uh, Keegs W on 28. Starscream. 101 on 25 with Rebby. Uh, KJ Argent, 22 on 22. Car Malicious on 20. Big Boy Brazer on 18. We're on board with Big Boy Brazer at the moment. Let's have a look and see what he can do around Silver Zone National. So we're going to come across the line and up towards Cops Corner. We're going to be dropping down gear at the 50 mark. Okay, he keeps it in fourth. Interesting choice. The car's going to understeer a bit there. It's run wide, which means he'll get a, a, a slowdown penalty for that coming out of Cops. Up the straight into Maggots. It's a flick left under braking. Got to brake in a straight line. The car will spin out and then flick it into this right. Keep it nice and tucked and bring the throttles, bring yourself wider as you go out onto the Wellington straight. Down the Wellington straight we go into Brooklands. Hits the brakes about the 50 mark. I tend to go in later here for the late apex. As you bring it in, you can get the throttle on so much earlier. Into left with a double apex corner, effectively go in, hit the first apex, run it slightly deeper, bring it back in to get the throttle on. Woodcut corner again, not really a corner, it's just a, a flat right hander. As we swap to Jack at the start of his lap. Uh, back to Big Boy Brazer. Let's see what time he can do. I don't think it changes anything. So, big boy Brazer there. Currently in 7th place. 2 point... I mean, down to 8 now. 2.0 off the pace. I think... Uh, to, if, you have, uh, if you haven't realised... I haven't got the, the horrible HUD controls on my screen because Tiny House is at the, at the wheel of the cameras. Um, so hopefully we get an even more professional looking stream for you guys. Matahimovic. Cross the line. And we've also got the best light down with the perfect work. In time to that, but Matahimovic 103.2. Jack is putting it on 102.6. He's 0 0.6 up now in the lead. Yeah, a bit of a small grid tonight. 12 for Class A as we watch Jack going into Maggots.
Um, would you like going through Brooklyn's into Luffield then? And all of it with Jack. Currently, our, our pox is at the time has finished. So, qualifying is over. Getting as <laughs> much track usage as possible here for Jack. Crosses the line. The Biggs decides to go in the pits. Matahimovic already finished. Carmelicious. Wondering, go on some. Aiden Hills comes through, puts it second on the grid. A 102.9. So the grid for this race. Jack H70 starts on pole from Aiden Hills 8. D Biggs is third on the grid with Matemovic in fourth. Rebby is fifth with Keeks W in sixth. Carmelicious seventh. Big Boy Brazer eighth. Uh, Sutty Apex in ninth. KG Argent, 10th, Starscream, then 11th, and Minadam in 12th. Yeah, five minutes really isn't a lot of time, TMLS. Um, so we're going to get ready here. Let's the car sink in. We have the three red lights. We're green at Silver Star National. Who's got the best getaway? Looks like Jack's going to keep the lead. Aiden in the background. D Biggs. Oh, contact already between the two leaders through Cops Corner. The front row has collapsed through turn one of lap one. Jack H and Aiden at the back. Is Aiden even on? Aiden's not even on four wheels. Does he have a reset button? Well, you should imagine if he does have a reset button, he'd be allowed to use it as there's no one else around him. Car malicious has taken the lead of this race. As he heads into Brooklyn for his first time. So they head down the Wellington Strait. Matahemovic is looking now for a move. Heading up towards the Coppers Corner. So this is where we find the stricken Aiden. Iceman, LUFC. The three wide. Is that three abreast pretty much going out of Coppers Corner? Looks like Matahemovic is looking for a move into Maggots. As these lot are. The lead hasn't yet changed hands as Sutty Apex in fourth place. They're nearly three wide behind him. It's Keegs, K Argent, more contact in the background coming out of Maggots. That's K Argent. I think uh, Big Boy Brazer, yes, it is. And the uh, star screen, the winner out of all of that, getting up into sixth, but he does have a typo. That's also going to be a slowdown for KJ Argent. The Iceman looking for a move around the outside into third. Gap at the front now, five tenths of a second. So that is gradually having a gap between Carmelicious and Matahimovic. D Biggs looking for oh collision on the inside. Looked a bit a bit of lag at the same time. I think that was Big Boy Brazer down the inside of Maggots for D Biggs. On board with Star Screen. The number 38 machine. Down the inside of Sutty. Oh, and Sutty's gone for a gap. The gap closed. And that looks like more carnage behind. Yes, Sutty's been collected by Big Boy Brazer. Through Luffield. 
Sazi just trying to go for an ever decreasing gap there. Unfortunately, spinning himself out. And unfortunately, not um, not gaining anything from it. Keegs up into third place. Iceman, we've already had a retirement. Don't know who that is. Uh, I think. Star. No, Starscream is here. Keegs W, though. Oh, in third, he's got Iceman on his tail. In the background, three cars. Here comes Iceman. Looks to the inside of Brooklands. Now, it doesn't look like he's far. He, he's close, but he's got a good chance of coming out of Laffield if he can get the line right. Again, can't quite pull it back to the inside to get the throttle on. So Kings gets away with that attack. Looking back through the pack. We've got T Biggs, Jack and Starscream, Starscream there just, be just behind at the moment, looking, oh he's gone very wide through Cops, that'll be a slowdown. Into Maggots. Nice man, still behind Keegs at the moment as they head into Brooklands. This for their fifth time. We have nine minutes fifty left on the clock. That's a Himovich. Just losing some more time to car malicious. There is our leader in the number 30 machine, the Shouston tyres. As we head on board with the cockpit camera. All the way into Maggots. Very nice line, drifting out nicely wide here, Carmel, as she is onto the Wellington straight. He is now 1.2 seconds ahead of Matahimovic. Um, Carmel, uh, looks like he didn't score last time out. That's Brands Hatch. To Brooklands. I wonder if we can get the uh, the speedo a map up. See see what sort of speed he's doing through here. Nine boat up the Welsh. <laughs> But we got side by side action. Iceman looking to take on Keegs through Woodcut. He's on the outside. He will have the outside for Cobb's corner, but he can use that to his advantage. If he breaks a bit earlier, he might be able to get a better run. Instead, they've decided to go side by side. In fact, he's actually done him around the outside of Cobb's. That's a fantastic move. Don't normally get away with that one on the outside of Cobb's at times. But both drivers very respectable through the corner. And Keegs concedes the position. However, Iceman does have a penalty at the moment on track. So all penalties provisional. Oh, but it looks like Keegs has a penalty, slow down penalty. There we go. He's flashing the night to say, go past me. And here comes D Biggs up into fourth. Jack H next for Keegs W. Biggs in fourth right now. This man has a three second penalty. Thank you for the up, for that update, TMLS. I'm I'm assuming you guys are possibly in a chat party chat somewhere discussing it. There's Matahimovic. Back on board. Oh, we've got the speedo, that's good enough. <laughs> Matahimovic then. Uh, car's not, well, I say not quick, they still do over 100 miles an hour. Also, uh, Tim and I was watching Big Bully Bruises. Big 
Big Brazer Boys uh, stream as well, who has just retired. Yes, he has. Down to ten then. So if you, as long as as long as these guys just finish, they get a top ten result. That's something that's quite good. I see uh, Aiden at the back, 52 seconds off the pace. Is the Iceman Kimmy from my phone? I don't know. Y y it could well be. You just don't know. But um, on the base, he supports what? I, well, I don't. I don't know who he supports. Really. LUFC, Leeds United, I guess. Um. But he's currently sat in fourth, so he's been passed by D Biggs. Somewhere along the line, maybe he's had another slowdown. But the the fight for the top two is non-existent. It is between this is really where the battle is in the in this mid pack. And Jack H, after being turned around at turn one, lap one, coming up ten minutes in this race, he's had a great drive back through the pack. He's up to six at the moment. And he's got, well, he's got a third in his sights, really. He qualified on pole, so we know he's got the pace. But, obviously, pace is very much different to overtaking on track. Into maggots for the tenth time for these juniors. The registered, registered Ju Janetta Junior championship <laughs> they doesn't win the race <laughs> I think it might be unlikely at this point stage of the race he's got five minutes to take 53 seconds out of the leader I'll tell you what he's actually got four and a half minutes but Jack Jack's pace is actually quicker than the leader's Right now, they will see on this attempt because Carmelicious puts in a 102.7. Jack could really do with getting past Keys SW. Jack a 103.6 that time around. Carmelicious had a great time last time, last lap. I think uh, Matahemovic is probably. Settling for second. He's not going to catch Carmelicious, I don't think. And he's just got 3 minutes 40 on the clock to, to get home for second place. Be another solid result. We'll see him also into the lead of the championship. Actually into Brooklands. No one quite yet close enough to make that move. There is Aiden Hills. Turn 1 carnage. Oh, back on lap one, ended up on his roof. But, uh, he's lapping 103.6. Carmelish just done a 103.0 last time around. Uh, Gary from last night, he enjoys the streams. Thank you, buddy. Uh, saying, come on, Big Z. So, you turn on D Biggs to get that podium. And here comes Keeks to go try and go past the ice man. Not cool height finding the gap as we head onto the Wellington Strait. He is going to draw alongside. Can he? Is he thinking of going around the outside of Brooklyn's for the inside of Luffield? Switch to D Big, so we need to go back to the battle. Here we go, ice man on the inside. Keeks still looking around the outside, still looking. Iceman shuts the door. Great piece of driving between these two. Keys W. Looking for any way possible. Uh, Jack behind. Maybe waiting for an incident. But... If you got, if he wants to make a move up the up this uh, up this table, he's got a minute and 45 to do so, and he better do it quickly. 
Smithy reunite you with his with his champ, a little leech there in the chat. Tell you what, Jack's got a good run here coming out of Maggots. He's now going to the inside, switching to get the slipstream. Iceman trying to break that toe. See Jack's completely different line into Luffield. Watch for the exit here. Kicks down the inside though, Luffield. Iceman goes really wide, just understeered with the camber, and he's lost two places. He's lost two places in all of that. So Jack Jack H has the chance here to get up into fourth but he's going to come under immense pressure from Iceman who will not want to let this go into Mangets, Iceman does look down the inside he's found the gap bit of door rubbing perfect touring car racing like that they're still side by side heading onto the Wellington Strait we go I think we're going to get one more lap because I think Car Malicious here is 12 seconds up on this battle We'll, we'll probably get another another lap. But that's a great bit of driving from Iceman. He's got down the inside of Brooklands. Again, you got to watch for the drive. He, he needs to be going slower at this point. He's trying to go on the outside. It's not working. We swap back to Carmel Issues. He's going for another lap. Let's get back to that battle for, for fifth because Iceman is all over Jack's tail. Through Cops, Iceman's dropped it. He's dropped it at Cops Corner. Starscream goes through. The Decepticon goes up in to sixth place. Just lost the rear. Trying to push that extra, extra bit from Iceman. Good evening, Holty. How are you guys? How are you, mate? Uh, Car Malicious, though. Fantastic from start to finish. Car Malicious comes through to take the win in the register. Janetta Juniors. A fantastic first race from him. Matahimovic, again, quiet, but he's staying out of trouble. D Biggs will come home for a podium. And we've got a bit of a fight to the line. Keeg's currently in the lead. Oh, the screen says Jack takes it from Keegs. That could be reviewed, though. That looked quite close. Iceman comes through for seventh. Sutty Apex in eighth. The Decepticon of Starscream in sixth as well. We didn't quite see him. KJ Argent. Bit of a quiet race for him as well. Obviously, Aiden. That issue, he's not quite being able to get in a battle with anyone. But ninth, a solid point score there. Aiden Hills, after his... After the start, I think he's done well to carry on there to claim 10th place. So, provisional results for the register. Janetta Juniors, Carmelicious takes the win from Matahimovic. From D Biggs, Jack in fourth, Keeks W in fifth. That might be switched around because project cast timing can be a little bit iffy. Starscream takes sixth from Iceman in seventh, Sussy Apex in eighth, KG Argent ninth, Aiden Hills tenth, Big Boy Bruiser, uh, Bruiser, Brazer, sorry, Big Boy Brazer in eleventh, and uh, another retirement. from someone else. I think it might have been Rebby disconnected or something. So, that is the end of the register Junetta Junior Championship. Next up, find the correct team. 
There it is. Next up, we have the Tin Top Racing UK Renault Clio Cup for Class A. Uh, people in the chat asking for Tyler House to invite some guest drivers. We are up to 15, uh, well, 15 people, so 13 drivers in the lobby right now. Um, let's have a look. And there's Rebby, Mina Dam has also rejoined. So, um, the timing can be a bit iffy, uh, Keegs, as, I take it I'm pronouncing it properly, any, I hope, anyway, um, Keegs SW12, the timing can be a little bit iffy, so I, I would probably send that in to have a look at, to be honest, um, uh, we, we, I've, be, I've been in other leagues where it's changed the, changed the order of of certain drivers for some bizarre reason even if they are like clearly ahead so uh, definitely worth having a look we have the same format though for the Tin Top Racing UK Renault Clio Cup 5 minute qualifying, 15 minute race See the drivers getting readied up for oh, their second race of the night. I don't know if the Tyler House may be taking a few suggestions from the chat. Or just giving the drivers a couple of minutes to get ready. Uh, but how, how is everyone during that? I mean, I can just try something whether, whether everyone in the chat wants to, to do it or not thought about it yesterday, didn't quite implement it, but that was, that's the first race to the register of Ginetta Juniors. Who would be your driver of that race? It would be interesting to see. I mean, I, I personally say Jack, because that's, that's a fantastic recovery drive, but everyone might have a few different opinions. So, the, the, the Tin Top Racing UK Renault Clio Cup... Let's have a look at some standings. Uh, Matt Himovich does lead on 41 points. Aiden Hills is on 34. AMH Racing on 26. Jack H 70 on 24. D Biggs is on 23. Tied with Keegs W and Big Boy Brazer. Carmel is on 22. Joint with Sutty Apex. Iceman LUFC is on 21. KJ Argent on 17. Starscream is on 12. Buy My Cars is on 11. Joint with Mina Dan. Rebby is on 8, and Simba on 0. Yeah, can't, can't fault Malicious. Not a foot wrong. It was... I think if it wasn't for Jack's recovery drive, I probably would have picked him. But it was quite straightforward for Malicious. Once he got it on the lead, he just had to stay there and, and keep the car in one piece. Um, as we get the speed up, hopefully we get the map up. And some splits for qualifying as the five minutes begins. Um, but yeah, I, I completely agree with you. TMLS Malaysia didn't put it for wrong. It was a, it was almost like a perfect race for him um, during that one. Uh, I think we'll go on board with uh, Matahimovic for a lap. I think, as the league leader. We will get together to our onboard line with Matt Himovic during the session. As he starts 
his first flying lap. Now these cars can be a bit oversteery. Um, and the rear tyres, I kid you not, they do not warm up. So expect a lot of sliding in these first couple of laps. So I'm going with Matahimovic. Obviously we've just missed Cops Corner, but pretty stock sound of Ben. Into Maggot. Someone's had a spin. Good save at the, at the top there. You must make sure you break these things in a straight line. Otherwise they do break horribly. Nicely done on the exit there. To bring out possibly a bit too wide though. Um, so you're trying, trying to minimise how much time, how, how wide you go. Up to Brooklyn's. What line does he take? Normally I take the wider line in these things. Let's get it so and then I use, yes, he's using the back end to turn the car into Brooklyn's. Luffield. Yeah, he's trying to trying to make this a one apex corner. Using the, again, using the rear to make the front end nip in. Four throttle outs, using some curb. Into woodcut. And across the line from Matahimovic. Puts it on provisional pole. 105.1. But Jack is putting in a 105. Iceman now goes on provisional pole. 105.026. 0.153. Quicker. Aiden now puts it on pole with a 104.9. The first man is the 104s. What can Carmelicious do here? The number 19 UFB machine. He now puts it on power 104.4 big D bigs also 104.4 point six thousandths of a second is the gap between them and they're both in the UFB machines they are like teammates they're like the Mercedes at the moment locking out that front row D bigs in the number 20 car Is fantastic to watch D Biggs letting someone go through. What can Aiden Hills do on his current attempt? Get two more laps, possibly only one, but Aiden staying in fourth right now. Iceman has gone top of the table 104.297. Times are coming in thick and fast. And he People can't hang around. They've got 46, 45 seconds to to either get across that line for another lap. Well, this is it. Car Malicious now puts it back onto pole position on 104.1. Someone's got things over there, pulling off to the side. Iceman is looking quick in this session. Can he make turn that into gold? to the line Rosalai puts it on pole provisional pole position for Iceman he'll have one more lap as well Carmelicious this will be his final lap for the battle for pole position and he's, he's abandoned the lap Carmelicious has abandoned the lap. Aiden Hills is on another lap. Number 39 Vane Machine will be looking for good speed. He's well, got the slipstream there down the back straight. Iceman with a 104.037 currently our pole sitter. Oh, that's a bit sideways from Aiden, and he's gone wide. That'll be the lap invalidated. Matahimovic coming up to the line, our current championship leader here in the Tin Top Racing UK Renault Clio Cup. Stays in sixth. Jack H, what can he do? He puts it third on the grid. I think that's it, qualifying is over. So, Iceman takes pole position here in the Tin Top Racing UK Renault Clio Cup. Followed by Carl Malicious, Jack H. Mia Dam puts it forth on the grid. A great effort by him. 
Aiden Hill is in fifth. D. Biggs in sixth. Kiggs W. Seventh. Mata Matahimovic is in eighth. Rabi in ninth. Sutty Apex tenth. KJ Argent eleventh. Our resonant Decepticon of Starscream in twelfth. And Big Boy Brazer fails to qualify with a time. Come on, this is James Cousins, who's a MX5 Super Cup racer. Team LS, a ringer then. <laughs> well, that experience is going to come in handy here as we head for the first race. We have three red lights. We're green for the Clio Cup. Carmelicious has got a great start off the line. He powers into first before Cops Corner. Iceman holds on to second, though. Are we going to get through cleanly this time around? It looks like... No, we're not. There's a big collision further down the field. That's Rebby. Interesting rejoin. And Keeg W. Just a... Oh, and more carnage going into... Maggots there. But Carmelicious does lead out of everything. He has got Iceman on his tail, but here comes. I think there's Mina Dam looking to the inside of Iceman there. And here comes Aiden looking down the outside of Bluffield. Oh, bit more touch and go, but Mina Dam keeps the position. Here comes Jack H. He's going to take the place away from Aiden in the end. And here comes Deep Biggs. He's dropped down the field. Just a touch. Well, he might have stayed in the same. But Deep Biggs looking. Trying to make a move on Aiden. He's got Matt Hemmings. Oh, that's um, a bit of door rubbing and a bit of an incident there. That's Jack H. Oh, big collision. Matt Hemmings involved. D Biggs looks like. I'm trying to have a look at the stream whilst that gets underway again. Weird, weird. D Biggs looks like he's come out and just lost control of the car. Unfortunately, Matahimovic getting just caught up in it. I don't know whether there's any additional contacts in that, but here comes Aiden Hills down the inside of Mina Dam for fourth place. True Jade Edwards airborne spin from the Tin Top Racing UK guys. <laughs> Um, this is fantastic. <laughs> I say fantastic. Not, not fantastic for anyone who's had an incident. But this is what Tonkai is all about. Aiden Hill pushing, pushing, pushing. And he's going to put Jack round. He does put him round. Both of them into the barrier at Cops Corner. Oh, my word. It's it's all gone out the window in, in the Clio Cup. No hold. No bars hold, I don't think. W, he's ended up where <laughs> he's 11th. He's gone wide and maggots. Aiden Hill is down to 6th. Jack H, luckily Aiden didn't uh, pass Jack, but those two seem to have a bit of a connection with each other on track. Um, whilst all of this is brewing, kicking off, Carmelicious is still leading from Iceman, 0.8 of a second. Mina Dam is in third with K. Argent. K.J. Argent, a fantastic first third of the race. Well, well, nearly third of the race. He's up into fourth place. Jack in fifth. Uh, Big Boy Brazer from the back of the grid. He is in eighth. There's Deep Biggs. He's down in tenth right now. Mata Himovic, the current championship leader. is all the way down in 13th place now. He's been overtaken by Keegs W. I'm watching KJ Argent 22. He's on the uh, he's on the back of Mina Dam. Not quite close enough to, to make a move. Jack and Aiden are close though, going into 
Brooklands into Luffield they go. Oh, look at the timing screens. There's Matahimovic looking to try and make his way back up through the field. This has been an absolute nightmare of a round. Down in 13th and last right now. Keegs W next, well, the first man on his hit list now to try and get up through the field. At the front, Carmelicious is now pulling away. 1.1 in the lead. Their times are very similar between him and Iceman. The Biggs has gone off and Maggots. Car Carmelicious also just lost a bit of time there. He's lost about half a second as Carmelicious. I wonder if he's had a bit of a slowdown or he's just had a minor mistake somewhere. Jack and Aiden are fighting hard for fourth. So a quick double switch. There, there's Carmelicious. Yes, ten, seven tenths is the gap here. Carmelicious is leading. Yeah, D Biggs is kind of, I don't know if he's going to make the way bridge, but um, it's it's, uh, it's definitely a new area update for the McGann. And the McGann, the Cleo, could turn into McGann if if he if he squished it enough, made it a bit longer. Oh, look at that in the background. That is getting close as well. As well as this is battle for the lead. Carmelicious, has he lost it? He's kept it going, but here comes Iceman. He is right on him coming to Luffield. That's a great bit of car control from Carmelicious. It w w looked like it was going to certainly grip up and spit him off the circuit, but he he's managed to keep it on. But Iceman now, cool as you like, right behind him. Up into Cops as he now look back to Jack H. Who has KJ Argent behind? Aiden uh, is up into the podium spot. Oh, Iceman giving him a bit of a touch going through maggots. I think I don't think Carmelicious needs a, a tap to know you there. The lights are on. He's filling the mirrors. We've gone to the to the Decepticon of Starscream because he's getting over. Well, I assume he's getting overtaken by Matahemovic, but he's not. He's managed to keep the place around the outside at turn nine. Uh, for ninth place, sorry. Down to Brooklyn's. Oh, and Matevic goes into the back and he has spun it, has he? Not quite. Again, held on. Back with Jack H. Not really in the battle. Uh, half a second. The gap's going up as well for the lead. Six tenths of a second. Um, absolute cracking battle at the moment. For the lead, there's Aiden in third. Just see the leaders in the in the background there, heading towards Brooklands. Aaron Matahimovic, who is looking at getting past Rebbe, but KG Argent, I think. I don't know whether that was KG Argent running wide or whether he that was just the way the camera looked, but he's going to get past Starscream. No, Starscream keeping that eighth place right now as they head down the Wellington Strait. Rebbe trying to defend. Oh, he's come across Matahimovic. That could have ended badly. Luckily, Matahimovic saw, almost saw that coming, I think. Just back down on the move at the last minute. Yeah, flashing lights. He's, he didn't like that one. Rabbi looking at KJ Argent, who's looking at Starscream. 
Aiden's had an issue. Aiden's dropped down to fifth. I think he's gone probably wide here at Maggots. And Rebby down the inside of KG Argent. Three Maggots down the wind straight we go. Mata Himovic, what do you do now? Do you try and make it three wide or do you just sit back, relax for a minute and see what occurs up ahead of you? Instead, he's going looking down the inside of Rebby. Not quite going to work for this part, but might work for the second part. It's an interesting couple of corners. They have a bit of a door rub. Just saying hello to each other. But great stuff by Rabbi. He's now on the inside of KJ Argent. And Mata Himovic has got nowhere to go. He's going to make try to make this three wide. Collision into Woodcut. And Rabbi's on his side. Mata Himovic into the wall. Four tenths is the lead, though. I think Mata Himovic just tried coming across Rabbi, thinking he might have been clear. He just wasn't quite there. Starscream has also gone down to 11. It's a bit of a weird one. I mean, I'm not going to lie, that Rebby's car did stop quite quickly there. Iceman still on the tail. He's got four minutes, 20 seconds. It's amazing. It doesn't... It, had, it actually felt like a, a quite a long race, this one, which is unusual, but it's fantastic. He's giving us so much action, but Iceman... Still closing. He's got that slipstream and he's not letting Carmelicious go. Still just filling that mirror. Uh, Aiden passed. Uh, Mina down there. For fourth. Iceman. Here we go. Down the running straight. He's three tenths behind. Use the slipstream. Good stuff, this, from Carl Malicious. I uh, mean, I mean, passed by Sutty Apex. Here comes Iceman down the inside. G tapping the rear left quarter of Carl Malicious. He has, a, like, a quarter spin there. But it hasn't actually ruined everything. Don't really think the move was fully on. He, he was hoping to possibly force the, force the gap open. Well, see if he gets halfway alongside, he's entitled to it, but he wasn't quite there. D Biggs. Where is D Biggs at the moment? He is currently ninth, looking at KJ Argent going through Luffield. There is wide. Yeah, they, they can't quite get back in. But D Biggs might have a bit of a run. The gap at the front is now, now down to two tenths, one tenth. Oh, you need to get back to that lead, unfortunately. Here we go, we're back with a fight for the lead. This is where it's all going down. Iceman, now he is close enough to have a little bit of a lunge. He can't quite do it, though. A tenth of a second is about where you can just get away with it. But he is forcing Carl Malicious onto lines he really does not want to be, and he's looking for an exit here out of Luffield. He is alongside through Woodcut. Carmelicious squeezing him to the edge. Carmelicious has a penalty as well. Big news then. Carmelicious has a penalty into Cop's corner. And Iceman can't quite keep the place. Carmelicious round the outside. Keeping the place for now. Absolute beautiful line from Iceman through Luffield. Keeping it really tight. And getting the power on really early. To force the gap open onto the main straight. We're now half a second behind after losing out at Cops Corner. Because if you don't get the move done at Cops and the car on the outside of you keeps it, then their run is massive. And in, in reality, you lose out a bit more, so sometimes it's better if you don't think you're going to get the move done to back off and try and take the racing line. But uh, we have just one minute remaining. One minute, so this is the final lap of the race we are going on to now between the top two. Three tenths, well, four tenths of a second separate them. 
It's been a phenomenal battle ever since Car Malicious has lost that bit of time. Iceman has been stuck to his rear. Three magnets they go. Onto the Wellington Strait. Gonna head into Brooklands for the final time. Ten seconds left on the well, fifteen seconds left on the clock. Into Luffield. Sideways from Carmelicious. But Iceman's just not quite there to capitalise. I'm gonna come up towards the the line for the final time. Time's gonna run out, and it will be Carmelicious who takes another win here at Silverstone National in the the Tin Top Racing UK Renault Clio Cup, a fantastic battle between himself and Iceman, but because of penalties, Carmelish has actually finished in second, so Iceman takes the win in the end. Jack H comes home in third, Aiden in fourth. Uh, Sutty in fifth, Mina Dam sixth, Kicks W will come home in seventh, D Biggs in eighth, KJ Argent. Will be in ninth. Uh, Matemovic is in tenth. Starscream in eleventh, and Rebby will round us out in twelfth. Um, yes, so Carl Malicious has a penalty note denoted by that red number next to his name on the standings on the left-hand side. Oh, Matthew getting caught up. Yeah, v absolute massive shame. Um, just wrong place, wrong time. Um, and yeah, D-Biggs getting that car home in eighth. Phenomenal effort. But Iceman takes the win. Not quite not quite by that much, I don't think. That's a bit of an, uh, an overstatement uh, from Because. But Iceman does, will take the victory from Car Malicious. Jack in third, Aiden fourth. Sutty Apex in 5th, Minadam in 6th, Keys W 7th, The Biggs in 8th, KG Argent in 9th, Matahimovic uh, is in 10th, Starscream in 11th, Rebby 12th, Big Boy Brazer retired after completing 4 laps. So that is your Tin Top Racing UK Renault Clear Cup. I would like to thank Tin Top Racing K for joining us tonight. Obviously, fantastic to see you guys here. And uh, they're saying stay tuned to the THR page. They may have some news from them regarding the prize for the A and B Clio leagues. Next up, though, for the THR Touring Car League is the Hard Compound Genesa GT4 Super Cup. It's the middle of middle race of our package at CHR Touring Car Leagues. Done in the Genetic GT4 Super Cup cars. Normally uh, a cracking race to, to have. Um, standings for you going into this. Uh, Matemovic is leading this championship on 60 points. Followed by Iceman on 57, D Biggs on 44, Jack H on 42, Sutty Apex on 38, AMH on 37, Mina Dam 31, By My Cars 30, Keeks W 28, Big Boy Brazer on 26, Rebby on 24, Starscream on 12, KJ Argent on 9, Carmelish's Aiden Hills and Simba yet to score. Uh, Jay Goss, obviously, yeah, just got to clip it and send it into to Tyler House. Um, so, obviously, all the results revealed tonight on the stream are provisional. Um, and are subject to change due to any penalties being taken off. 
um, etc etc so you, even though it's streamed obviously this is all provisional just like just like the real life motorsport um, any appeals um, obviously being handed to the admin obviously Tyler has been one of them um, so it is, it is all prov all provisional nothing here is final until any of the standings are produced so yeah if you, if you feel you've got an unfair penalty do send it in to them as we've got Gary 131 from the B class joining as a filler. Yeah, Keegs, it's it's literally a project cars timing thing. For whatever reason, every now and again it decides, you know what, I'm gonna do my own thing and swap the places around for for no apparent reason. It's um it's a little bit weird. But yeah, Gary is in as a, as a filler from Class B. Now, Gary last night had a, pretty, a couple of decent results. Um, and got caught up as well, being a bit unlucky. Mark and Jake constantly supporting Gary as is Smithy. So, good to see everyone. How, how is everyone doing if you, if you have just joined? Uh, obviously, sorry, I was just coming from the stream there. Gary won't score any points. He's literally a filler. But he, he's literally just filling in. So he won't score any points on Gary, but it's uh, good to keep numbers up in these leagues. As we get underway for our five minute qualifying of the hard compound, Janessa GT4 Super Cup. So as qualifying gets in the way here, there is Gary one three one. He is filling, make, making up a number. Is that Louis? Have we got Louis Matt as well as a filler? I think Louis Matt's now in as a filler. Tyler House, can you confirm that? My suspicions are correct. Let's we watch Gary on his first flying lap here. In the number 19 machine. See, that's a, that's a great little saying. Bees for the no points win. That's a great saying. I, I like that. So you see Iceman. Gary putting in a 101.7. Sunny Apex 101.2. D Biggs with a 1 minute point six. The time's just coming in. Here's Iceman. I think we should go on board with someone. I'll, I'll let uh, our cameraman decide who, we, who we're going to go on board with. There's Carmelicious. What can he do in the Super Cup? He puts it on pole. Well, provisionally, with a one minute point two. That's a great time. Three tenths. Quicker than anyone. One ball with Carmel issue, so we'll, we'll go round one more time with him so we get the start of the lap. Someone's had an apps. <laughs> you know, as we go round with Carmel issues, there's someone else stranded in at Maggots. There's Matahimovic. 
our current league leader. Now Carmelis is no points on the board at the moment. Looks like we're going to go on board with Matahimovic for this lap then. So out of wood could we go. On to the straight. In the brakes at 50. Bring it in. Bring the throttle back in. Run it wide to the curb, but not too wide. You'll get penalised for that one. All the way to Maggots. Again, break in a straight line. So get it, turn a little bit, hit the brakes, and then gradually try and feed it in to the right-hand section of it. Out through Aintree. On to the Wellington Straight. Now. It's really not a massive factor with these things on this particular circuit. But into Brooklyn, you can see Matahimovic just a tighter line than he, than he did with the Clios. As wherever that is in front of us. Going wide. Matahimovic through Luffield. Lovely double apex taken there. Out on through Woodcut and a lap of Silverstone National. But Matahimovic in fourth. Iceman currently our pole sitter with a 59.1 seconds lap. Great lap time. That is Deep Biggs lets him through. He's second at the moment with a 59.176. So just 76 thousandths of a second between them. Uh, big Boy Bruiser in third with a 59.2. Make that 59.1 into second for Big Boy Bruiser. Uh, Matemovic a 59.3. Gary, the Class B filler in fifth at the moment, a 59.4. He's only... Three tenths of a second behind Iceman at the moment at the top. He's now down to sixth, but this qualifying is ended. He's down to sixth because of Sutty Apex, a 59.080. So 20 thousandths of a second. What can Iceman do? Puts it on par. He's got a 58.740. That's a phenomenal time. He's three tenths quicker than anyone. What a time from Iceman. I don't think that's going to be beaten. Even Carl Malicious. A 58.9. D Biggs can't do anything about it. Aiden Heels. Back to the pits. I wonder. Here comes Rebby. Carl Malicious. 58.9. I mean, only two people below the 59 second mark. Rebby. That's great time. Great time. So Iceman takes pole position away from Car Malicious. Row two is Sutty Apex and Big Boy Bruiser. Row three, Deep Biggs and Matahim uh, Matahimovic. Gary lines up seventh alongside Jack H. Mina Dam ninth, Aiden Hills tenth, Starscream in eleventh, Keith W on twelfth. Row seven is KG Argent and Ravi. And Louis Matz could not set a time. Great effort from Gary there. He's down in seventh, but let's face it, he's point, only 0 0.7 off the lead. Leading time of Iceman. I mean, these, this is the faster group of cars, uh, of, of guys. So that's a great representation from Gary. But we're going to get underway here for the 15-minute race. We have the three red lights. We are green. Uh, looks like Iceman's got away well. Sutty Apex looking to the inside. Sutty Apex to the lead. And here comes Carmelicious to try and take it back. As we exit Cop's Corner for the first time down towards Maggots. It looks like this time, yes, we are away clean. Someone just running wide. Into Maggots then. Well, ooh, three wide almost into Maggots. That's not what you want. Sutty Apex has kept his lead so far. Carmelicious in second. Big boy Brazier. Or Brazier, sorry. It could be Brazier. Down the Wellington straight. Look at the back of cars looking for that lead. We are down a man. I think Louis Matt has 
retired or disconnected of some description. But we're watching Iceman, who's currently sat in third. Come on, Ice is down the inside. That's very wide from Sutty Apex. I don't think he was planning on that one. Big boy Brazier. Also looking to... Oh, a three wide. Down towards Cops Corner now. This is not going to end well, is it? Surely Matahimovic decides better of that one. Carmelish is in the lead. Sutty's down to sixth now. Aiden Hill. Someone's gone off in the background. That's Matahimovic. And Aiden Hills goes round at the second part of Maggots. KJ Argent is round. D Biggs. Also looking like he went round or had an instance there. At the moment, though, Iceman now leads from Car Malicious. So Iceman's got the move done. Big boy Brazier has Gary up his chuff. Here we go, the battle of class A and B. This for third. Uh, allegedly. I might have... No, nope, it's actually the other way around. Sati is on the tail of Gary. I apologise. And someone, Carl Malicious, ran wide at Cops Corner there. Oh, and Sutty's had another little half spin. Nice man still leads. He's got 1.4 seconds to spare, though, but Big Boy Brazier. This time does have Gary for company as they enter the love field. D Biggs <laughs> on the tail of Matahimovic. Uh, Sutty Apex. Looking to try and get on the back of Gary here. Gary on the podium in this Class A race. As you can see the car nosedive into the ground as they hit the brakes. But I'm watching Big Boy Brazier because he's been overtaken by Gary. Yes, Big Boy Brazier made a mistake through Maggots, and that's a great switch back from Gary 131. That is a fantastic bit of racing. They're going to go side by side through Woodcut. Gary not on the best line. He, he just let Big Boy Brazier go through there and just went, yeah, I, I, hang on, I'll, you'll open up the door. I'm coming through. Through Cox Corner for the fifth time already. And Gary's going to lose out, unfortunately, getting up towards Maggots. Looking to get that better line, but he's just gone a bit wide and allows Sutty Apex the opportunity here to have a look for the gap. Gary's still looking down the inside, trying to, trying to feel Big Boy Brazil's mirrors. Meanwhile, these lot are battling. Iceman's getting away. And Gary flashing his lights. I think he had a slowdown. So you watch D Biggs. Keeks W behind. Got a feeling Gary unfortunately had a slowdown penalty and that's forced him down to fourth behind Sutty. That's a Hemovich in fifth. We're watching Keeks W, who is on the tail of D Biggs. You can see Matahimovic there. He's gradually catching up to Gary here, courtesy of their battling earlier in this race. 
into Brooklyn's for their sixth time. We've had a retirement there. Uh, I don't know who. But Carmelicious is not on a good race this time around. He's eighth at the moment. He's got damage to the front of his car. And he's got Amina Dam behind. Uh, this race we have just the eight minutes. 45 to go. Already nearing the halfway point of this race. Z-Biggs looking all over the back of Matahimovic. And it looks like side by side, Big Boy Brazier and Stutty Apex. Bit flash lights on Gary, don't know why. But Big Boy Brazier has lost out here to Sutty Apex. They come out of the love field. Now if these two start scrapping again, it's going to allow Gary and Co. to get back up to them. side by side into Maggots, Big Boy Brazier down the inside He's going to have that one done where is Sati Apex, it's just suddenly like disappeared there he is heading down the Wellington Strait, Sati Apex losing out and he's going to have Gary on his tail very shortly but Carmelicious has Mina Dam all on his tail a little bit of an interesting line to come up to the breaking zone of Brooklands. Back in the matter, Hemovic. As they head into Cops Corner. The question is can Gary get on the podium? His first Class A race, we'll see. And they are gradually reeling in Sutty Apex here. It's not going to be long before Gary's on him. Flash lights from Gary. What? Now, it could mean a numerous amount of things because lights can be very good for communication as long as people understand what you're trying to say. Gary moving out of the way. Z or no, just a bit of a, a tighter line through Brooklands. Uh, yeah, flash of the lights can mean various things in motorsports, uh, especially on Project Cars 2. It can mean go past me, I'm, I'm going slower. It can also mean let's work together here. We've got a chance to get up the order. Let's work together and battle it out later on. And that's Gary. He's had a he's had a moment through cops. And as I go back to him, just gonna look at my stream. Yes, he just just lost the back end there. As Gary through cops corner just dropped it as Sutty gets past Big Boy Brazil for second place. Down the inside of Maggots. A cracking little move. We have just coming up five minutes left in the race. There is Gary. His times are quite good with the rest of the field. There is your leader. We've not seen much of him because he has absolutely dominated this race. As we enter... Maggots with his helmet cam. Iceman LUFC. What a fantastic race he's had. Head yeah, down to Brooklyn's. They're there on the on the dash of the car in kilometers rather than at miles an hour, which you can see in the right hand side. 
That's why he looks like he, on, on his wheel, he's doing 150. It's, uh, 160 kilometers, 170. Interesting figures to see, really. I think he'll definitely reach 200 kilometers. Yeah, there you go. 200 kilometers an hour down the main straight. Here he comes, going as smooth as you like from Iceman. Having a look. The battle between Gary and the is not quite developing. Um, nor is the battle for second right now. There is Sati Apex, who is in second place. Matahimovic in fourth at the moment. He's had a nice little race here. Not been caught up in anything, really. There's the Biggs in sixth. With all of his aero parts still on the car. Uh, car malicious. Uh, Come on, issue there with the, with the short nose edition of the Genesis GT4 Super Cup. Uh, Mead Lamb in 8th place. Keeks W is in 9th. And it looks like the battle for second is not over, actually. The, the gap is now closing. The gap is actually closing very fast. There's Jack H. He's down in 10th. 2 tenths the gap for second. There's Rebby. KG Argent and Starscream at the back. Here we go then, big boy Brazil. He is now six tenths away as we enter Brooklyn. Big boy Brazil's got a good run coming out of Love Hill though. He's gonna go side by side, he's gonna go around the outside of Woodcut. He's going to have to... Oh, he's run a bit wide. Oh. He's run a bit wide there. I wonder if the game will penalise him, because he went all four wheels off the track. Sometimes the game will penalise your place for that. They look to go side by side into Maggots. Yeah, big boy Brazier on the outside, and maybe just letting getting position swap sorted there. I think that the game would have penalised him for it, but he's now side by side. He does have a penalty though. Oh, this could be a move and a half from Sutty Apex. He fires down the inside of Luffield. Got to get the move done before Cops Corner. He's not quite going to do that, though. And actually, gets the move done through Cops Corner. That's a great little setup from Sutty, but here comes Big Boy Brazil. So the Apex has to give him the room, and Big Boy gets through. Although he didn't get on the power very nicely. Uh, what's happened to Sati Apex? Is he still there? He's had an issue. So Gary, Gary's on the podium. Matahimovic has also had an issue. So Gary, 1-3-1, one, one, just as a filler. We're coming to the end of this race. Gary is now on the podium. Does Iceman finish this lap? Is he going to finish the race? I don't think he will. Clock ticks down. We will have one more lap of the hard compound Genetta GT4 Super Cup. Iceman dominating the race. But it's Gary, who's the big news story. He won't get any points for this, but he's had a fantastic race as Gary. He is not far behind big boy Br Brazier, but he's also got enough time bar behind him to Sati. And there he is, good old Gary. But back with Iceman for the final corner here at, Luff at Silverstone National Luffield, followed by Woodcup. He comes up 
three in the final corner. And Iceman takes the victory in the hard compound Janetta GT4 Super Cup. A fantastic win by him. Big boy Brazier comes home for second place. Gary does have a penalty. Gary has a penalty. Will that contradict the result? Gary crosses the line third. He's going to keep third. Gary takes podium on his Class A debut. Sati Apex in fourth. D Bigsy. D Biggs in fifth. Matamovic in sixth, but gets done by. Uh... Oh, pardon me. It's done by Mina Dam. So Mina Dam in sixth. Matamovic in seventh. Keeks W in eighth. Jack H in ninth. Rebby tenth. KJ Argent will come home in an eleventh. Starscream in 12th and Carmelicious. I don't know what's happened to him, but he's uh, ended up 13th in the end. I think he's just, uh, it's just given up. <laughs> but Iceman takes the win and some of those driver of the race. That was sensational stuff. Big boy Brazier in second. Gary, who gets my overtake of the race, and that one a fantastic switch back through Luffield. You couldn't fault that one. Sutty Apex in 4th, D Biggs in 5th, Mina Dam 6th, uh, Matt Himovic in 7th, Keeks W in 8th, Jack H 9th, Revy in 10th, KJ Arden 11th, Starscream 12th and Carl Malicious in 13th. There's some action going on between Carmelicious, Gary and uh, Iceman, according to the chat. Interesting to see how that one plays. But next up, you see the car's already been chained. We have the British Touring Car Chat, Porsche Carrera Cup GB. He's using the GT3 Porsche 911s on the game as substitutes. Uh, Brandon Carmelis has got sent to the, uh, to the Shadow Realm. Uh, Matovic asking if they can use the Astra. Uh, I'm sure Ty. Tyler will uh, let you know on that one. But let's have a look at some tables. There's that one there. So the tables for the British Toy Car Chat Porsche Carrera Cup GB. AMH Racing is currently leading that. Uh, leading the league on 40 points. Iceman has 33. Matahimovic in on 32. Sutty Apex on 25. With Jack H on 24. D Biggs has 21. Buy My Cars on 15. Mina Dam 13. Rebby also on 13. Big Boy Brazier on 12. Keeks W on 11. Starscream 9. KJ Argent on 8. Car Malicious on 2. In Hills and Simba. Yet to score. AMH has now joined the session for the Porsche. Porsches. I, I know his, his job keeps him quite busy uh, in, in these current times. Obviously, I believe he does stuff for the health service in terms of delivering, I, guess, I think, equipment, something like that. But um, yeah, obviously, during these times.
Um, I know he's quite busy. So he's now joined us for the for the Porsche Carrera Cup GB, which is good to see, another man. Uh, TMLS, no, uh, AMH is a genuine driver for Class A. He is leading this league uh, on 40 points. Just load into Silverstone National. This should be an interesting race. Iceman's been on fire. So is Car Malicious if we start the five minute qualifying. This will be the last of the 15 minute races once we head to the BTCC Blueprints Touring Car Championship. The new lobby gets set up. And. Um, just so people can, just so the drivers can pick their cars. It'll be a 20-minute race. So you watch the Decepticon of Starscream 101. Um, obviously, if, if 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 anyone's unfamiliar with with the reference, obviously Starscream, the Decepticon in uh, the Transformers movies. Um, just in case anyone didn't didn't quite get it. <laughs> TMLS, fantastic. Ought to, ought to be a point for who gets to move first in qualifying. Oh, the biggest race every time, yeah. If you're out first, you get the most laps. It's always the, the best thing. There's AMH in the Porsche livery car. Uh, Louis Matt, one of the Class B fillers. He's in the number 62 shield machine. If they didn't get it, they should go to bed. It's late. <laughs> Fantastic. Hopefully you're enjoying all the stream up to now. See, two races left, so we've still got plenty of action in store. There's Iceman LUFC. As he makes the spin. Now, remember yesterday, um, there's a lot of spins in the Porsches. As AMH starting his flying lap. Number 911. We'll, uh, we'll go around with him here and go for a full lap, hopefully, with him. With our league leader right now. Just going to come through Luffield. This is his first flying lap. Mina Dam uh, now put down a second by Matovic. A 56.5. Does AMH's first time bring? A 54.5. So into Cops Corner. Nicely tucked in, using all the road he can. Into Maggots, yet yeah, breaking a straight line. He's a bit wide in his real life racing career. I say, well, he's, done, uh, he's done a meeting. As uh, we watch Iceman. But yeah, he is without doubt. Uh, very, very quick. Iceman, four tenths away from him, though. That was all about the camera work, picking up the action. Yeah, it's, um, it's really well. See, Tyler on the cameras tonight. Um, he's hosting the room um, and to be fair it's um, I th I th he's doing a, he's doing a pretty good job it's not the easiest thing easiest job to do in the in the, the world of sim racing and streaming to um, to try and navigate the cameras but he's doing a fantastic job so far qualifying's already over five minutes flies by uh, thank you TMLS I'll let Tyler decide if I, if I can remember Obviously, do do that. Obviously, see where else I do some commentary work. Uh, but AMH does take pole position away from D Biggs 95, Iceman LUFC in third, Big Boy Brazier in fourth, 
Matimovic in fifth, Gary one three one sixth, Carmelicia seventh, Jack H eighth, Mina Dam ninth, Keeks W tenth, Sutty Apex is in eleventh, Aiden Hill is in twelfth, KJ Argent thirteenth, Star Screen fourteenth, Rebby fifteenth, and Louis Matt at the back of the pack. Again, you haven't lost a minute trying to get out of the pitch yet. Yeah, uh... Not, um... <laughs> not, not easy to get out of those pits on time. As we're going to go and head racing. Carnage, just car malicious. Through two other cars joining him. All started. Screen in the number 184, and AMH has checked out. There's a bit of pushing and shoving them behind that. Looks like Lou Matt uh, with Aiden Hills. Mina Dam. His gap at the end of lap one it is incredible to see. Sorry, at the end of lap two, even. Big boy Brazil. There's Keeks W. He is battling with Iceman for second place, coming onto the Wellington straight. He's got uh, Matemovic behind. Still one very wide. I think there's Louis Matt in the background. So I'm saying there, Keeks W looking to make the move here on Iceman for second. Um, it's fair to say, as long as AMH stays out of trouble from himself, he's going to extend his lead. Looking okay, interesting going into Maggots. There's Gary. And I think Aiden, Aiden's off. Aiden's off at Maggots. I think Aiden dropped it at Maggots there. Uh, Mr. Himovic looking at the back of Keeg's W here for third place. Um, yeah, interesting chat about wheels in the in the Chelsea. Yeah, I I do do a bit of racing myself, um, and I, I've got a G29, and I, I find it all right to be fair. I get decent decent pace out of the G29, but back with the battling. Mata Himovic really looking a hey, mate by Mata Himovic. There is Carmelicious down in 14th. He's had a that, that's, a... that's a very compact version of... Back to D-Biggs. Is he still looking for a way past Starscream? And he's just had a bit of... Big boy Brazil we're now looking at. He is currently in 10th there. And that's big boy Brazil. A bit of a, a tap there. To Jack H in two maggots and taking the plate. Well, for the back is looking a bit interesting. There is our leader. He is currently 12.4 seconds up and dominating this race out of. Um, he's still got another 6 minutes 15 to go. Kalmish is past KJ Argent. Revy Pat is back on, but he's got Sati. Sati Apex behind him. Being on board with the AMH. A little bit. See how, how smooth AMH is. Just so smooth. I think Starscream just dropped it. Yep, Starscream has spun. There is Gary. And he's on the back. He's on the back of Matahimovic. Point four of a second separates them.
an LMP1 or something. He, uh, I'm not going to lie, he really is that quick. It's just the consistency of AMH tonight. Just constantly in those 54s of this race between him and AMH for that drive back to the field. Keek W, fifth. D Biggs in sixth. Mina Dam will come home in seventh. Jack H has already finished, I think. Yes, he has already finished. Jack H in eighth. Big Boy Brazier in ninth. Sutty Apex in tenth. Starscream in eleventh. Rebby twelfth. KJ Argent in thirteenth. And Carl Malicious in fourteenth. Oh, there's a shame piece, piece of explosion. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, I will say round two at Brands Hatch um, ended up being, becoming null and void um, due to some issues, I believe, on race day. So um, AMH went with the BMW. So it's interesting that he's in the Mercedes this time around. Can't do anything on this run. He's got one more lap, though. Nice man. Coming towards the end of his final lap here in qualifying. There's yeah, a cracking lap running the BMW as he heads through Woodcut, looking to maybe go quicker, put even more pressure on AMH. AMH in the pits, so AMH will not put it on pole position. Iceman does not improve though. D Biggs in third. Matahimovic in fourth then with the time of 59.3. Aiden Hills currently seventh. Stay seventh. So the grid for the last race of the night, the BTCC Blueprints Touring Car Championship. Iceman takes pole position from AMH. D Biggs in third. Matahimovic in fourth. Car Malicious in fifth. Louis Matt in sixth. Aiden Hills in seventh. Keith W in eighth. Gary finishes in ninth in the qualifying session. Big Boy Brazier in tenth. Jack H in eleventh. Me, uh, Mina Dam in 12th, Rebby 13th, KG Argent 14th, Starscream 15th, and Sutty Apex did not set a time. Here we go then, for the final time tonight, the BTC Blueprints Touring Car Championship for the THR Touring Car League. We have three red lights. We are green here at Silverstone, and Iceman should get a Maggots, they pretty much are three white into maggots. But AMH comes out of that in the lead. Car malicious, he's in third. Matt Mahimovic, currently in fourth. That's the bigs on the grass. As he looks for a move on Matt. Car malicious, though, getting un under attack from Matahimovic. A long night. Uh, Matahimovic then still trying to attack our malicious, but he's under all attack himself from D Biggs. What happens to Ice? I would do good save in the Astra. But car malicious under attack from D Biggs, he's got a penalty. Nice man behind and AMH. Starting to check out again. He's 1.6 already here on lap two. Oh, malicious. Iceman looking down the inside of D Biggs. Oh, D Biggs is always looking to get past Car Malicious there. Yeah, it was a very strange one for Iceman. Normally, the BMW on pole, it should just pull away from the pack. Just didn't just didn't get underway. Really, really weird. Uh, Jack H. He is currently battling with Keeks Double. Oh, that was Ice Man, and that's a big collision on the main straight. That's Louis Matz. Yes, Louis Matz involved in that one. Uh, 
That was a big, big hit on the main straight for Louis Matt. Don't know what happened at all there. Don't know who it was between. But we return to Jack H, who is. And now to Iceman, who's on the back end of D Biggs. Oh, there is Louis Matt with his uh, visual damage on. That's an absolute gutter, Aiden. It's happened before to even the uh, most competent of drivers on this game. Back up with D Binks, Iceman. Up into second by looks of it, so they both got... So both pass... That's a Himovic. Now with a penalty. Okay, just keep W with Gary. Gary in eighth at the moment. There's Sutty Apex. Louis Matt looking around the outside. Oh, Mina Dam. Not quite making that one work. He is right on his tail. Two Astras together here. And here comes Louis Matt looking down the inside. Oh, he looks for the switch back. That's a great little move. And here comes Sutty Apex. Almost looking to try to get the, the switch back on the panel. And they're going to be three wide coming down the Wellington Straight. Ah, Louis Matt using the toe of Mina Dam there. Well, I thought Sutty Apex. Oh, hang on. Madame hit. That's a Hemovich. A little bit on the sideways side there. Squeezing Gary. To the grass. And he, unfortunately... Oh, and he's made more contact with Keith W. Just coming across. Gary, 1-3-1. One, one, just ahead of Keith W. This, the battle for fourth. Into Cops Corner then. Amate still leading by 0.4 of a second. The gap is closing. Down the line and straight into Brooklands. Seven and a half minutes to Jack H at 70. He has got past uh Sutty Argent in the Astra. Looking on the inside of Louis Matt. AMH though side by side for the lead in two. Maggots it is. Here comes the BMW. Can he get the power down? Yes, he can. Iceman goes to the, to the lead. The first lead change the race has commenced. I say te technically the second, but because Iceman lost the lead on the start line. But AMH now, four and a half minutes to respond. What can he do about this? He's been overtaken by Iceman. That BMW is a quick car. Round here. AMH has led for t three quarters of this race. And he's now just lost that lead. Got some serious pace though down the straight into Brooklands. AMH looking to force the error from Iceman. Look at the line difference here from AMH. Couldn't get on the power in here and he's got that covered. AMH on the tail of oh, Weissman going through Cops Corner. Dean, uh, the analog sticks so, analog so sensitive. I've not done it on the analog. I tend to play this game on L2R2 and the D pad if I play it on the controller. Interesting combination. Uh, AMH still on the back though of Weissman coming through. Maggots. On oh boy, AMH with the with his helmet camera. Doesn't move his head a lot. Just keeps it quite straight. Just look around the outside though, Luffy. He won't get it done around the outside, but he will look for a switch back. Runs a little bit wider. Trying to keep that power on. That's MLS, I'm the same as you, mate. 
on, on the gears of respect. This is some great battling now. As Halty said, these two really respectful of one another. They know how quick each other is. And they are. And Iceman takes the lead yet again on what I would consider to be the penultimate lap of the race. AMH needs to do something, needs to do something quickly here. 